shows at Springbrook Birder for the DuPage Birding Club. I'm out at Springbrook Prairie again. This time I'm in a field that's very shrubby, has a lot of shrubby growth around it, and that attracts certain kinds of birds. It's late June and it's the breeding season, so all the migrants have left. And so we, what we have out here to find is the birds that normally nest or breed here at Springbrook. One of the common species out here in this type of shrubby habitat is the willow flycatcher. They're very common when you get into this type of habitat. And the willow flycatcher sings a song that sounds like Fitzview. You might pick it up as they're calling around here during the video. The willow flycatcher is a small flycatcher that belongs to the genus Impidinax. And they're called Impids or Impidinax flycatchers. And there are five species here that normally are found in DuPage County. Now the willow flycatcher is really the most common one during the summer and in shrubby habitats like this it is really the only one uh, you'll find. So if you come out to Springbrook or go to any place else in DuPage County at this time of year in this type of habitat and see a small flycatcher it's certainly going to be a willow. And if it makes that Fitzview call you're certainly going to know that it's a willow flycatcher by that call. Now the Impidinax flycatchers are a group that's traditionally uh, very hard to identify. They all look very similar and so they're hard to tell apart in the field. The one thing that you can tell them apart fairly easily by is their song. They all have unique calls or songs that they use to communicate with each other. Now here in DuPage County, we have about f we have five different species of, of impids that normally show up. And this mini tutorial is going to talk about how to identify the impidinax flycatchers by sound. So let's get started. Well, it's good to get out of that wind. There are five small Impidinax flycatchers normally seen in DuPage County. Least, Alder, Willow, Yellow-bellied, and Acadian. They pose an identification problem because they are all look very similar. They are small grayish green flycatchers with wing bars, some yellowish color underneath, and some even have an eye ring. As you can see from the photos, Making an ID in the field based on the visual field marks can be difficult. And in the case of separating willow and alder, pretty much impossible. There are differences that let you separate them in the field with very careful study and attention to habitat. But luckily, the Impidinax flycatchers have unique calls or songs that lets you easily identify them by call. Of course, they need to be calling, so this ID tool is great for spring and summer birding. Learning and recognizing the calls of the five species of Pitidex that show up in DuPage County will make their ID much easier. Each species has a unique song or primary call that is pretty diagnostic, but there are also other short calls. They are useful, but not necessarily diagnostic. And of course, you should study and learn the plumage characteristics and habitat preferences that can be used to separate non-singing birds. Within DuPage County, the alder flycatcher and yellow belly flycatchers are spring and fall migrants. The willow is a summer resident and commonly nests in the county in shrubby field habitat. Least flycatcher is primarily a common migrant through our area, but has been recorded nesting on occasion. And the Acadian flycatcher is somewhat of an erratic visitor and rare nester in the county. The recording used during the remainder of this mini tutorial are from the Cornell University Laboratory of Ornithology Guide to Bird Sounds, 
United States and Canada. Let's begin with the leaf flycatcher. Among the Yempids, the leaf flycatcher is relatively common during migration here in DuPage County and is often found in wooded areas and wooded edge situations. The call is fairly recognizable. It is a sharp chebec repeated many times over. It is usually the first empid to arrive and sing in the springtime. It also has a less distinctive call note. It is a whistly wit call. The second empid is the yellow bellied flycatcher. It can be very yellow, but most of the empids have some yellow on their underside. So you shouldn't base an ID by some yellowish plumage color alone. Yellow bellied has two song types. First is somewhat similar to the least flycatcher, but is not as sharp and somewhat more raspy. It sounds something like shebeg. The second is a very whistly song. That sounds like weed. And is similar to a shortened call of an eastern peewee. Next is the alder flycatcher. The alder flycatcher is essentially visually indistinguishable from the willow flycatcher in the field. The alder and willow are considered sibling species because they look so much alike. They were once classified as a single species, trail flycatcher. During migration, they should only be identified by their song. The alder has a three note song, BBO. So sometimes an alder might sing only the first two notes. So you have to be cautious. Habitat-wise, alders prefer wooded edges, while willows prefer open shrubby fields. So habitat can be a good indicator of which species you may have. The willow flycatcher is the most common empid here in the county, and is a common nesting species in shrubby fields. The willow flycatcher has a two-note song, Fitzview. Willows also give a raspy wit call note. Note the difference in character between the wit call of the willow and the wit call of the leaf. The final empid to talk about is the Acadian flycatcher. It is the much less common than the other empids in DuPage County. I find that they usually arrive late in migration, and that they are a woodland or woodland edge species. The song, Call of the Acadian, sounds like an emphatic issue. 
It is quite distinctive. I usually detect Acadians by their call, then zero in on their perch location to see them. So the five species of Impidinax flycatchers pose a difficult ID problem. Getting to know their calls and songs helps ID them in spring and during the breeding season. This is one group of birds where burden by ear skills are essential to properly identify the birds in the field. And now it's quiz time. See how many of the following flycatcher songs you can identify. Here's number two. Number three. Number four. And the last one. So how did he do? Here are the answers. You got some wrong, don't worry, you just need a little bit more practice. Soon you'll be an expert at identifying impids using your birding by ear skills. I hope you found this mini tutorial on the impidin X flycatchers useful, that it helps you improve your birding skills. For the DuPage Birding Club, I'm Joe the Springbrook Birder, talking about all things birds related. Bird with a purpose. <laughs>